uh, very good evening to all of you so today we are going to perform one experiment on the proteus software and we will be performing the forward and the reverse bias we we'll try to understand the forward and the reverse bias of a pn junction diode along with the forward and the reverse bias we are going to plot the vi characteristics of a pn junction diode so uh, now when you will have to plot vi characteristics it means that first you will have to apply a positive voltage and then a negative voltage and then we'll try to understand how the current behaves with respect to a voltage when you are applying a voltage there must be some current uh, so when a positive voltage is applied to a pn junction diode what is going to happen it means that the depletion layer is going to break down and the depletion layer will break down at a voltage greater than 0.6 or 0.7 volt for germanium it is around 0.2 or 0.3 so we'll be clicking on the proteus uh, 8 uh, software uh, we'll be drawing the circuit so for that uh, this is the new interface when you click on the proteus software so this new interface will appear in front of you now click on the open project you can either click on the open project if uh, you have already made the file or you can go for the new project now after clicking on the new project you see here a small uh, window uh, has appeared now here you can give a name to your project and that will be a diode you can simply write and now here you will have to provide a path so where you can uh, st store your um, your uh, experimentation so we'll be providing the path and that is the desktop only so now uh, just click on the next uh, here you will have to replace because I have already made the file so no worries for that now again click on the next again click on the next again click on the next now this Proteus software is a very powerful software you can create a PCB out of it also so now uh, there are there must be a library in the Proteus software and from that library you will have to select a component so basically what you will require if you want to uh, to do a forward biasing so you will be requiring a diode so normally uh, if you want to uh, search for the component then you will have to uh, set it in the component mode so i am clicking here now this is very much similar to your diode but this is not a diode it is just used for the selection so I'm clicking on this component mode. So now this mode has been activated. And after that, you will have to click on P. So from here, you can pick devices. So P represents uh, picking devices from the library. So now 1N4007, I'm writing. Now this is the uh, diode. Now why? Uh, right so uh, you will be having four options so we'll be using the silicon rectifier now you can see here reverse voltage is 1000 volt already explained that uh, this is the um, breakover voltage or reverse breakdown voltage beyond this voltage your diode is going to be damaged now this is the forward current maximum forward current maximum current which can pass through a particular diode when you are applying a forward bias to it just click on it when you are clicking on it and then click on the ok button now similarly again you require more uh, components you require source also so um, dc voltage source i am clicking it here so everything will be accumulating in this uh, uh, space now again go to the keywords here you will have to type a keyword and accordingly the component is going to appear you will be getting some options so now resistor you require because you required you need to add some load resistance so you can see here you will be having the 
uh, a bunch of options you'll be having will be going towards the analog resistor you can take any resistor it's not a big deal so click ok this resistor has appeared now you require some measuring instrument but before that we'll be placing the components okay uh, you need to vary the voltage for variation in the voltage what you require a potentiometer is a must so this will be port edg uh, okay so port edg you can see here uh, one knob is there or you can say if you vary this then the resistor is going to vary and after a variation of a resistor the voltage will also vary so it is just like a tap changer right so again click ok so now you can place it here uh, okay so we want to have the broader view so just uh, you just have to scroll your mouse now you can see it this uh, boundary has shifted so how to you know again uh, give it back to a normal view so for that click on the arrow and uh, you can see here it is set now i uh, just have to you know uh, click here and you can uh, very well move the screen so now you now it, this is visible okay so the diode we are going to place a diode here so after that a resistor will be there this resistor will be in the horizontal mode so you need some rotation for the rotation you are having these two options rotate clockwise and the anti-clockwise so and clockwise you can do anti-clockwise also not a problem again so now you need some connection okay so i am making a connection so how to make a connection just uh, uh click on just place your cursor on that component so you can see here a red dot will appear that indicates that it is ready to draw a line on us or on a circuit so now uh, everything is there but you need some measuring instrument like i already mentioned so how you are going to um, uh, how you are going to place the measuring instrument so for that there is some source of symbol so you can just go to virtual instrument mode so here you will be having a wide variety of the instruments click on the dc uh, voltmeter after clicking on the dc voltmeter uh, and now you can see i have not rotated it okay so no problem not to worry again again click on the dc voltmeter just uh, okay so right you can see here plus is here because ultimately this uh, is the p type that is the anode and here this is the cathode so connection is there but you need ammeter also for that again you need rotation okay no issues right i think uh, you need one more voltmeter so to check the applied voltage uh, we are very much interested in finding the uh, voltage uh, how much voltage you are applying it to the diode so okay so now this is uh, one is ready to uh, you know make the connections okay what happened okay i don't know uh, so right okay this one is okay now we are just making a connection so across diode you will have to measure a voltage because we need to find the cutting voltage so the ammeter is always connected in series with the diode and the voltmeter is connected in parallel with the uh, diode uh, because we want to find the uh, diode voltage and the diode current this applied voltage is different because you have connected a diode in series with the load resistance so now here i am just making the potentiometer so this is the tap okay so not to worry uh, right everything is happening very well okay so now uh, just make a connection this is not a big deal uh, we are we want to check the applied voltage now this is across the diode uh, you need a ground so for ground click here that is the terminal mode 
so ground you can say it has appeared so after the just uh, click the point okay so now this uh, circuit is ready to go but uh, you know that uh, we are studying the electronic circuitry and in the electronic circuitry the current will always be in milliamperes if you are given a forward wires then it will be in milliamperes uh, or and when you will be doing a reverse biasing so it will be in microampere so when you double click on that component so here a small window is going to appear and that window is edit component so in this a display range is uh, there just click here you can see here kiloamperes is there amperes so range is there so you select milliamperes for forward bias right now this is uh, too much uh, 1k is uh, more than sufficient so just 1k again what i have done i just double click on the component uh, fine so everything is ready oh, oh no source is not ready so source uh, how much voltage you want to give i think 15 volt uh, will do our work so now everything is ready so in this way we can um, have this uh, diode circuit in the forward bias condition so we are more interested in finding out uh, the uh, diode uh, voltage and the diode current so for finding the diode voltage uh, the dc voltmeter is connected across the diode and the ammeter is connected in series with the diode so now uh, we would like to plot the vi characteristics and uh, the operation will be in the first quadrant so for that we will go to our excel so now here you can see voltage is the independent variable and uh, current is the dependent variable so initially uh, what we have done so there is a zero voltage you can see uh, zero volt is uh, there and uh, here it is a uh, zero milliampere so now again you can see uh, the uh, we have increased the number of turns so now it is 0 0.15 so you can write uh, 0 0.15 so then current is also zero so here current is in the uh, milliamperes uh, there is no significant improvement in the current which is flowing through a diode so again you increase uh, you see there is no such improvement uh, this has uh, increased so zero so now again uh, we will uh, increase so now you can see 0 0.37 you can write here 0 0.370 then 0 0.40 so here uh, when you have increased the voltage across the diode uh, to 0 0.4 you see the current starts to flow means the uh, you can see the charge carrier starts to inject uh, so this one is 0 so now here 0 0.4 and uh, it will be 0 0.1 so I think it is 0 0.1 milliampere oh it is 0 0.0 mm, 0.01 milliampere fine so now after this again uh, it is uh, you just have to increase so what you can see is 0 0.43 to 0 0.43 so what this is a 0 0.03 uh, so okay now again 0 0.44 so it will be 0 0.04 0 0.44 okay so we'll take the next values uh, then 0 0.45 0 0.05 0 0.47 0 0.08 that is okay so 0 0.48 uh, this we will take 0 0.48 now what is the current it is 0 0.1 milliampere uh, okay again then 0 0.49 that is okay 0 0.50 uh, then again we'll increase it to 0 0.51 then 0 0.52 you can see that now the current starts to move uh, rapidly so i think it is 0 0.52 so just a minute hold a minute uh, it is 0 0.24 it is 0 0.24 that is okay 
so now uh, this one will be 0 0.53 no improvement 0 0.54 you see uh, 0 0.55 that will be 0 0.45 0 0.45 that is okay and now uh, this one will be 0 0.55 0 0.55 you see the voltage across the diode is not increasing now so i think the cutting voltage has reached now so after the cutting voltage your voltage across diode will remain constant voltage across diode i am saying uh, not the applied voltage so i think 0 0.56 uh, you can write that will be 0 0.62 so this is okay then uh, 0 0.65 you just have to see the cutting voltage because after the cutting voltage your current is going to rise exponentially you just have to see so there should be a drastic change in the current just have a look on these two um, measuring instruments so 0 0.57 0 0.71 fine so now you can just have a look 0 0.79 0 0.81 right 0 0.85 again it's not increasing that much 0 0.9 0 0.93 96 991 milliampere you see now it is increasing at a rapid pace 0 0.59 that is 1.12 0 0.59 we can say it is uh, 1.14 1.14 okay so now uh, this one you see you see the we are increasing the voltage the uh, the this is constant now so 0 0.6 you can see 1.36 it is increasing 1.4 just increasing the voltage so i think the limit has arrived so 0 0.6 we can say and this one is 1.3 so uh, if you want to plot the curve for that insert so that will be you will have to recommend it charts so i think this is okay so we can have the uh, uh, the forward biased operation in the first quadrant so you can see so you have plotted the value so in this way you can perform the vi characteristics of the diode now in similar way you can have the reverse biasing of the pn junction diode so uh, what i think that this should be the assignment uh, for you and uh, you can try your hands on this circuit the circuit will be same only you just have to reverse the uh, pn junction diode uh, the rest thing will remain same so i think this is uh, for today's um, experiment we'll meet on the next experiment so till that time thanks a lot